and I became very annoying to the rest of the programming team as they would ask me to watch other documentaries. My response would typically be like, it's good, it's not the mole agent, but it's good. Um, and so it's been awesome to see audiences reacting um, in a similar fashion. Uh, this film is really made by a team that kind of spans the globe, which I think speaks to why this um, story and these characters are so kind of universally human. Um, and it's a real pleasure to welcome up the director of The Mole Agent, Matt Alberti. Thank you very much. It's a great honor to be here presenting the film. And we have been working on this film for many years. Um, last October, Chile, our country, woke up to see social injustice. And in these changing contexts, we asked to ourselves, which was the sense of making this film and, and about what we were doing in general. And we realized that, that we were a country that completely isolated and invisibilized so many groups, and one of them is early people. And with Sergio, the protagonist of this film, who is 85 years old, I learned that it's never too late to reinvent yourself and to adapt to new changing reality. And I really hope that, that we can live in a country that is opening for changing, as Sergio did it on this film, because it's never too late to find a new sense of purpose. I really hope that you can enjoy the Sergio's journey. Thank you for being here. Today. I want to invite to the rest of the team, the editor, Carolina, Marcella, Julian, to be the producers of the film, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, Sergio was not able to come, but he sent a message for you that we want to share with you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's go with it. Let's do, I, I have a question. Um, she just started out. I mean, we get to see, obviously, we see some of the interview process, but I'd love to hear the kind of discussions um, that you were kind of going through going into that of how you knew you were going to, like, what the right subject needed for this film, who's going to be your lead, like, kind of the discussions you had going in. Uh, it was, I was lucky to find Sergio, I think, because uh, I arrived to the story because I wanted to make a film about a private detective, and it was a completely different idea. I want to make a film noir, documentary film about a private detective, and I researched different places, and I met Romulo, and I worked as a, his assistant for a while, and I saw the cases that he worked with most, and one of the cases that he usually worked with was the retirement home cases, so he had clients. And he usually worked with a mole that broke his hip, uh, so he, when when he has a new client, we were going to shoot, but he doesn't have a mole, so he really puts the ad on the newspaper, and 30 old people arrive to the interview that we cannot really believe that at the, the at 80, the people really bought the newspaper to find a job, because it was in the uh, ad of the job section of the newspaper. And um, that spoke about that the people really want to be active at that age and also about our bad pension system that uh, they need to work also. Uh, so these people are right and uh, when I saw Sergio, I was really in love with him on the first minute that he entered to, to the room and I tried to convince Romulo that he was the best because he was super touching, but of course that he, I knew that he was not going to be the perfect spy, but he was super touching, and Romulo was not so convinced, but at the end he was convinced because he was a widower, so he thought like, okay, he was not going to have the pressure of his wife, so he's okay. 
but yeah, I I I had a gut feeling that he was the one. Yeah. Ah, we have the Sergio. In reality, it's been a an adventure very long in my life because at this age. Trabajar en una película es algo, pero muy lindo. Sigo visitando a mis amigas, que son mis amigas de 80 para arriba. Si uno se demora, mucho lo llaman. A mí me llaman y, y me dicen que soy un ingrato. Entonces, me tocan la fibra. Entonces ya tengo que ir a ver. Lo viví y conocí un, un entorno que yo no nunca había visto ¿Eh? y eh, espero que eh, también a ustedes les agrade, les guste mucho no fui para allá personalmente porque le tengo un cierto miedo a los aviones le tengo mucho respeto entonces prefiero mejor mandarle un saludito que antes que subir al avión pero igualmente los tengo a todos ustedes acá y les agradezco mucho eh, la asistencia para que vean esta película. Uh, yeah, I think that when we realized that there were not any crime or felony inside, we kind of thought that we have a failure or the film was not working, but Sergio was really living a touching experience that was more powerful and emotional than the research itself. So at that point, you make film to live an experience and to live emotions. So the emotion was not in the research, it was in what he was living. So at that point, we really realized that it was about Sergio and not uh, the research. And we didn't have doubts that we have to follow that. But in the editing room, it was difficult to find the equilibrium the balance between the lines like in which point we are going to leave the the research and go to the such story and that we edit for Carolina make a great job because she's the she's the one that make the magic <laughs> Find that balance at the beginning, yeah, we, at the first version we were more focused on the research and more focused on the spy and yeah, I also have to leave my first idea and to leave Sergio, leave, yeah, let's go. Can you have your The mission was, um, um, we, Sergio was the one who make us make the arc uh, of the history, so we, we follow, follow his emotion and his and his emotions through in uh, were the investigation that he is very focused on that and he is, in some way he lost that that way and he became friends and the emotion was very more more important than investigation and that was very clear and the material uh, gets through that was very organic in that way. Yeah, that's super important that we realized in the editing that in one point Sergio was not taking care, well, I realized also in the shooting that he doesn't like Romulo anymore. <laughs> and he started to hate him in some point and at the beginning what Romulo was the hero for him and then like, okay, I have a new job, I have a boss and then it's like, I hate my boss and <laughs> everything started to be like that and we were super concerned because each meeting was like, they hate more, they hate more each other, so, but in that point, yeah, we realized that when Sergio didn't care about that, yeah, we didn't care about that, yeah. Let's give a final round of applause. <laughs> One small thing. We have buttons for everybody uh, and postcards so you can take us away. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.